Kyle, leaders in the local Jewish community are processing the news that a Cornell student who grew up in Pittsburgh has been arrested for making threats against the campus's Jewish students. The Broome County Sheriff's Office released this mugshot of Patrick Dye, a junior at the university. Dye is charged with posting threats to kill or injure another using interstate communications. Officials say the 21-year-old had multiple posts online threatening to shoot up a dining hall offering kosher diets, threat threatening to stab or slit the throat of any Jewish man on campus, threatening to rape Jewish women at Cornell and behead Jewish babies. Dai's mom was present as he appeared in a federal courtroom in Syracuse today. He waived the right to bail hearing and will be held in the Broome County Jail. His next hearing is set for November 15th. Now those anti-Semitic threats police say Dai admitted to making, they have sent shockwaves throughout the community, prompting Jewish leaders in our area to address the topic of safety and how to process hate speech. Natalie Kuchko joins us with more reaction to the disturbing news today. Natalie. Teresa Adam, officials from the Jewish Federation of Greater Rochester acknowledge that this situation hits close to home. They also express the shock and disbelief over these remarks and say it re-emphasizes concerns of safety on any college campus. Monica Gabel with the Jewish Federation tells us she joins in that disbelief behind the alleged threats made by Patrick Dye of Pittsford. She says it underlines the continued need for students to feel safe wherever they attend school. She explains the questions an incident of this magnitude raises not only for the Jewish community, but the community at large. I think this particular story hits home because this particular young man is from the Rochester area and specifically Pittsburgh, um, where I think we tend to think that things are okay and maybe Cases of um, anti-Semitism or people who have hatred are less likely to be so overt about it. Um, but it just goes to show all of us that, first of all, we don't really know who we go to school with sometimes. Um, maybe we don't know them well. Maybe we don't know their intentions or how they feel about people. But we also um, can't consider that any of our environments are 100% safe. Meantime, we did reach out to the Pittsburgh Central School District. A spokesperson has confirmed that Dye is a graduate of Pittsburgh Menden High School, also adding the district would not be commenting any further. Back to you.